Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims for Barbie Season 2, Episode 44. And uh, we are up to an interesting part in the LP because I think in this part we are going to move out Amethyst and Topaz into a house of their own. So I've done a bit of a speed build. I don't know if it's been posted yet. I think maybe it, actually maybe I'll post it tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see how my video schedule goes because I'm away right now. But I have done a brand new build uh, for them to move into. I'm really excited because it's so different to the Barbie dream house. Uh, I might actually just get Ken to explore space because his rocket science sk skill is still at eight. And... I mean, I don't really understand why it's taking so long to go up. I feel like we're in the ship all the time, but we should level up to nine after this one because it's 97% complete. Uh, and then Barbie, where is Barbie? She's over here. So Barbie was pretty upset. Uh, Ooh, Ruby and Wolfgang sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. I used to hate it when people sang that in primary school. I was like, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Wolfgang and Ruby have been hanging out. Ruby likes a bad boy. Who's this? Is that our friend? Are you a teen? Megan. She looks She looks like a potential friend. I think, is she a Simley creation? I'm losing track of what is Simley's creations, what are in-game creations. By the way, my window's open because it's stuffy in here, so you might hear cars going past. Derelict vessel. Ken sees a large... Sh ugh, can't talk. A large ship. Floating silently ahead. It looks abandoned or at least very poorly maintained. Should Ken try to board it and see what's inside or just use the ro robotronic arm to collect some spare parts? Use that arm. Use that robotronic arm. Let's get Ruby to make friends. Uh, I think this, this looks like a Simley's creation. It just does. Is that it? Why does why are these space adventures so short? I want that skill to level up more. See, I bet you it didn't do anything. Oh no, we are at level nine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How's our our relationship going over here? Uh, Wolfgang is really difficult to get to know, but I feel like I'm not surprised by that. Let's make Megan our new best friend. And we can make a plastics club. <laughs> yes, mean girls. And then we can have a burn book. Yes, she should make a burn book. Who's this hunk of spunker Rooney? Oh, that's awkward. That uh, That is Diamond's husband. Awkward. Now, what is Topaz doing? He's embarrassed. He probably should feel ashamed from trashing the house. I've actually cleaned up the house. Uh, so it's not looking yucky, but... It was so trashed a couple of parts ago. And Amethyst is having a hug with her dad, which is nice. But I think I think what Barbie and Ken will do is they'll have a bit of a discussion in the formal lounge room uh, with Amethyst and Topaz just saying, look, we know you guys know what you did was wrong. Like you guys know that trashing the house was wrong. And we're not kicking you out. We would never kick you out of the dream house. But we do encourage you guys to move out because we think it's time that you guys learn how to do your own thing on your own. And I think this was the cherry on top of the cake. Uh, Wolfgang, this is not your discussion. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Sit down, everyone. Let's have a serious discussion. Okay. Let's get Barbie to talk to Topaz and serious discussion, deep conversation. There we go. Oh, is she going to walk a little bit closer? Okay. We're, we're all hopping up. Oh, okay. Everyone's hopping up. Oh dear. Deep conversation. Okay. Wolfgang's just going to have the conversation with us. Great. What? what where is... T okay. Okay. Here we go. He's like... You wanna, you're kicking us out, mom? Are you serious? Ah, there we are. Now this is what I wanted. Oh, I thought the Sims would uh, sort themselves out. But I think they're, you know, they're discussing this on a good note. Yeah. It's time to move out. I think they understand. Wolfgang's just wanting to get in and meet the parents. All right. All right. Where's Megan? 
Where'd our new Biff will go? Our soon to be Biff. Biff, where you is? Where is she? I wish there was a way of tracking Sims. That would be good. Like, obviously, you can track your own Sims, but it'd be handy to track other Sims, you know? I'm just going to, I guess, fill up uh, this action list just so we can just get them to be a little bit closer because it would be really fun to create a Mean Girls Club <laughs> and for them to make a burn book because Ruby's a bit... She's a bit catty. She's not the nicest girl. Uh, how is everyone else's hunger going? Barbie's pretty hungry. Ken's hungry. Everyone's a bit hungry except for... Oh, no. Amethyst is fine. Onyx, how are you, pal? All right. Let's get Ken to serve some dinner. Uh, let's do a Caesar salad. Yeah. I feel like he'd be tempted to do a campus stew, but Barbie would be like, just no. Barbie's probably saying, okay, so what furniture do you guys need? Can I buy you a fridge? Do you want me to help decorate your room? Is there any places you've been looking at? Amethyst is probably like, well, I have been. And there's a place I love. Yay! I mean, it all happened very quickly, but oh no! This probably was broken at the party. I'm blaming the party. Can you resume that Caesar salad, please? Oh, no, 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 Bobby. You ain't cooking tonight. Ken is cooking. Oh, were you just getting a piece of cake? Or a pudding? Pudding. That reminds me of Harley Quinn. All right, let's pay some attention to Onyx. <laughs> They're all eating. Oh, no, that's okay. They're eating leftovers. Onyx, I do want him to really keep up his grades. He also needs to work on his motor skill a little bit more. We might do homework, then go on the monkey bars because we need to level, level him up. Um, yeah, and then he'll do better in that department, which is good. Now, how is Ruby going with Megan? Are you guys friends yet? No, you're still acquaintances. Okay. We need to we need to really focus a little bit more on this. This is more important than Wolfgang. Girls before boys. Friends before what is it? Bros before hoes. What's the female version? I don't know if there is a female version. It's funny how these girls are just hanging out in Onyx's room. Oh, Pearl just loves standing over here. She's so random. It's like her corner. <gasps> Look, it's your cousin. How sweet. All right, I think she does need to go home though. Uh, is Bobby going to, oh, Bobby's eating the pudding. I think Pearl is vegetarian and a new trait coming with the Sims 4 city living is that you can have a vegetarian Sim now. So I'm definitely going to turn Pearl officially vegetarian, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, but we'll get her to come home. Uh, we might get, how's Ken's mood? Once he goes to the toilet, we might actually get him to go on another space mission, I think. That would be nice. And Amethyst should probably... She needs to practice some music, so we'll get her to practice. And then Topaz doesn't have a job yet, but we are going to get him into the entertainment career. Actually, why not do that right now? Like, why wait? Why wait? Uh, let's go. Where's the computer over here? I had a moment. Ruby, shouldn't you be playing with your new Biffle? We're getting to know her. Are we friends yet? Oh my god, we're still acquaintances. Okay, let's get... You a job. I do love this. I, I think this home office is so funny. I love it, but it's so funny because it's so Barbie that she sits here staring at herself in the mirror. <laughs> uh, she probably doesn't get that much work done. All right, Barbie, what do you want to do today? Do you maybe want to do some gardening? 
Something's alive! Rattle, rattle, crash. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading that because I have to focus on Barbie for a second. I mean, they have a gardener. Oh, they, I thought they already had one. That's weird. Did it not save? I'm just gonna do brace door. All right, here we go. So Topaz has aged up and now it's time for him to get a job. Entertainer, we're going to get him to become a comedian. But yay, excellent. Did we start? He didn't do very well at school, did he? So <laughs> he's going to start at level one, which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Yay, small cry, uh, take a peek. Feel like we should have done something different then. I don't know. And uh, maybe he can write some jokes just to get a nice head start. Uh, oh. Ken fainted, that's no good. Now, how do we, how do we write stuff, Korea? See, I wish in Korea had all the Korea things you need to do. I find it really hard to comedy. Uh, reason, here, yeah, oh my God, Ken is captured. Oh gosh, and we're just like focusing on this. Let's just refine our cookie overdoses. It's not time for bed yet. Okay, so. Looks like we've got a creature. This is good, he's spending a little bit more time in space. Uh, it's 9.33, we can probably chat again to our new friend. We'll just keep calling her. And how are we going for Amethyst? She is 75% done, so we'll keep that up. Good, everyone seems to be on track and I'm pretty keen to move them into the new house. Joyride in space, yeehaw, nothing like the wide-eyed kid to make Ken feel like a hero. Uh, space cops, should he pull over or try to outrun? Well, he'd pull over. Certainly would. He's having such a good adventure today. And what's going on here? Pearl, are you? Yeah, you don't seem very happy at the moment. You need to help your hunger. You need to talk to some friends as well. And you also need to do your homework. So she's not doing nearly as well as, uh, as Onyx. Who the cops believe Ken and take his little orange buddy home. Now Ken can head him. Oh my God, look at that. Just Ken landing in the background. Okay. He's returned safely home. Good stuff. So what is he, how quickly does, does that skill go up? We're so close to level 10. So it goes up so slowly. So we have to have like another five missions maybe before we even get to level 10. Oh well, okay. Maybe Ken can just go to bed. Oh, actually, how about Ken, how about Ken spend some time with Pearl? Teach a valuable lesson. And Ruby should really be doing homework, but we might do that in the morning. Oh, you guys, you're so cute. I love these two. They're just so perfect. They're imperfectly perfect. And Amethyst, what are we up to now? Whoops. Complete. Cool. So we can get her to use the toilet and go to bed. And we might get... Why do they... They keep going to sleep. Oh my gosh. Uh, in, in the tents. So funny. Oh my gosh, Topaz is in the tent. All right, I guess we'll move in the morning. Yeah, we'll move in the morning. It, it, please don't go sleep in the tent as well. That's just weird. Oh, Amethyst's new bedroom is going to be so different to this bedroom. Like their bedrooms are going to be really, really different. These are really modern and yeah. Oh my goodness. And Ruby's going to want a bedroom makeover as well. So we're going to have to do that. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a full on makeover as well and maybe get rid of these, these things and put some kind of teenage chill area out here instead of that play balcony. Uh, yeah. All right. Everyone's in bed except for Pearl. Okay. She's still, she's still 
struggling a little bit. I guess in the morning at breakfast she can get her social up. All right, I will put Ken to bed and we will resume in the morning. Alrighty, it's 5 a.m. right now and in the middle of the night a monster under the bed scared Pearl away as you can see here this is in her bedroom. Usually the Sims never go back to bed but I told her to go sleep in the tent and she had no issue with doing that so perfect. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, but today is Topaz's first day on the job so on his brand new job so we need to get him up. We need to get him I think to have a quick shower as well, use the toilet, let's just fix that or replace it. And yeah, then then he's just gotta practice some jokes and then head to work and he'll be um, there nine till five. So it's his first nine to five job. And what's Amethyst up to? She's only up to entertainer number two. It's really, really bad. <laughs> it's really, really, really bad. So we might get her to serve some breakfast for the whole family. Uh, let's do pancakes. Pancakes is a little bit of fun. And oh, we forgot to put away dinner. What a waste. Oh well. Uh, oh wait, maybe Amethyst will have to move them while Topaz is at work. Yeah, and then we'll need to ask Nita to move in as well. All right, let's put that in there. And why is Ruby in such a terrible mood? Oh, she's just hungry. All right, so Pearl's had a pretty good sleep. Luckily, we can still use or utilize the tent to get some sleep, even though she got scared away. Uh, and she'll be able to have some breakfast with Amethyst once those pancakes are finished. So that'll make sure her social goes up. Ken's gonna hit, uh, hit, a, hit the rocket ship again. And Barbie really needs some activity. I mean, we need to get her to fall pregnant again, but we're not going to do that until she until the kids move out because we don't want her to have a baby and not have any option of having twins because I think as soon as they woo her it's going to register how many people are in the household at that point rather than when she has the baby okay it's amethyst almost finished the pancakes ruby no no honey no I, I've got someone already making you pancakes. I wish they would, actually that's another good, that would be another good thing if they waited around for the food to get made so they wouldn't just keep pulling things out of the fridge. Oh, damn it. Now we have floating food, clean up. Put that away, please. All right. Ruby can call to meal and Pearl can definitely get a piece of pancake. A piece of pancake or a stack of pancakes? Okay. Ew. Uh, what are you doing, Barbie? What is she making? Butternut gnocchi. Oh, good on you, Barbie. You're really good at cooking. Keep forgetting she's almost at level 10 cooking because she's cooked for so many kids. She needs to eat something. That's good. There's her social going up. Perfect. I feel like we're taking care of their needs really well today. And then Topaz. Why is he taking so long to get ready? He was up at five. Seriously got the ghost loads. He's not going to do super well at work if he hasn't started uh, some music before he leaves. Damn it. He starts in one hour. He's just going to have to go with full mood. So th this is nice. Full table of full table of family eating. All right, Amethyst, I think we're going to have to move you into your new house. Yay, but we'll just get all the kids to school. Ah, oh, they're having a nice hug out there. Pretty excited to move into the new place. And everyone should be leaving now. Time for school. All right. Off you go, everybody. Pearl and Onyx are on their way. They're such well-behaved well sims. And Onyx, six, I mean, Topaz work in six minutes. All right, 
I don't want you to be late. At least his mood is really, really good. You know what? Let's just go. Let's just go. Don't go to, what, why would you go in the tent, honestly? All right, we might get Barbie to clean up these plates. And then it's time to get Amethyst to move house. Pearl's going to go her super top secret way where she doesn't have to run into, I don't know, any germs. Maybe she's, she refuses to go on the school bus. She's like, no, and I'd rather walk to school. So his mail has been delivered. Nice. Oh, how come her grades are so bad? I feel like she'd try really hard. Maybe, maybe Pearl has some learning difficulties as well. All right, Amethyst, are you ready to move? Let's go. All righty, guys, this is Amethyst's brand new house, and she's already very excited with Akash uh, that they've just moved into a house together. They're going to be sharing this with Topaz and Nita, but I thought we would ask Nita to move in properly. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of an irregular house. You know, look at this roofing. It's like all over the place, but I think Amethyst would have seen this and just fallen in love with it and been like, oh my gosh, it's so artsy. It's so quirky. I want to live there. And it's in a really interesting spot. It's like right in the city where they can catch up with friends and go out easily. And it kind of looks like it's a house that looks a little bit out of place where it is, really. I was going to put it in a more normal tree suburban era, area, but then I was like, or a forest area. And then I was like, you know what? I reckon this is the kind of house that some little grandma has held on to forever and has refused to sell to any developers. So it just sits here in the middle of the city surrounded by all the other community lots. So yeah, this is where they're going to be. I'll just give you a quick tour of the house. So like I said, it's very quirky. I imagined that Amethyst would have collected a lot of things for her first home. So she's got antique mirrors. We all know how much she loves vintage things. Uh, maybe some influence from Topaz here with that more indie vibe. Uh, and these like little poufets. Got a foosball table. And over here is the kitchen. Nice kitchen there for them to prepare food in. Whoops and a dining table here, complete with mismatched chairs. And of course this bin Amethyst were brought as well. In here with the beautiful stained glass window is Topaz and Nita's room. Lots of green plants in there for Topaz. There's two bathrooms next to each other. And if we go upstairs, this is Amethyst. Amethyst and Akasha's room, very bright. Some purple pops of color in there uh, that comes out from downstairs. And then on the other side here, where the other staircase goes up to, this is like an art studio room that leads out onto a balcony where you can do a little bit of meditation over here, uh, or you can do a little bit of, I don't know, yoga over here. So I think this house is perfect. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. And I thought it would be really nice for Amethyst to spend some time doing some gardening as well. Uh, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna put the walls down. That looks like a really scary show in the background. What should these guys do to like christen the house to make it, you know, exciting that it's theirs? Maybe, obviously, embrace. Uh, we're not gonna just woohoo to celebrate. I want to do. Maybe they can plant something. I don't know. Maybe plant something to mark the occasion. Let's purchase some seeds, maybe some starter, starter fruits and vegetables. And then let's open the seed packet. I actually put that into Akasha's household. Uh, and let's maybe get them to, do we have a tree we can plant? I want to plant like a love tree. <laughs> This can be their, their apple tree they're planting and maybe Amethyst can plant some spinach, some carrots. Uh, maybe Akash can plant these strawberries and what is this? Grapes, there we go. How cute is that? And then maybe we can also have a banana tree. Oh, we have another apple tree. X 
excellent. Plant that and amethyst can plant that. So that's a nice way to say hello to a new house. And I don't think they'll be able to afford a gardener at this point. Uh, so I think they'll have to make sure that they keep up to date with the garden, which is a little bit of a worry for me because I, <laughs> if you guys know me well, which some of you do, I can never look after plants very well except for Jerome. <laughs> All right. Oh, what? You guys. Oh, it needs a more open spot. Okay, well. We'll just plant some mushrooms. I feel like Topaz would be the one planting mushrooms, but... Oh, well. <laughs> oh, no, don't eat the mushroom. <laughs> Let's plant the mushroom. There we go. Plant that. All right, and then we'll get them to water the plants. Beautiful. That's a nice christening to the new home. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to finish this part right here. I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.